There we go. Right, where's Zoom? Sure, there we go. I, sorry, I haven't changed the name. I'm on my um, wife's uh, tablet. Yes, so of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. How are you? Yes, not too bad. Thank you very much indeed. Nice to see you. Good. Thank you. Nice to see you too. You are, I'm Robert. You are? I'm Ross. 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 Pleased to meet you, Ross. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Yes, yeah, so our, um, a few from our congregation have been writing, so I gather you've yes. um, received one of their, their letters. Which congregation are you? Uh, Kingdon, the one in Pardon? Kingdon. Pardon? The one in Kingdon. King Don? Kingdon, um, in Herefordshire. K I N T O N? T -T. That's it, yes. K I N T O N, Kingdon. Right, okay, thank you, in Herefordshire. Okay. K-I-N-G-T-O. Okay, King, K-I-N-G-T-O-N. Right, okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Um, yeah, there's there's quite a few things I've been looking at in your book, Enjoy Life Forever. Um, one of them concerns how many spirits Jehovah is, whether Jehovah is one spirit or more than one spirit. Um, I was looking at chapter 7, what is Jehovah like? Yes. And yeah, it okay. says this, Ross, point one, why are we unable to see God? Yeah. And it says, God is a spirit, John 4, 24. Jehovah yeah. does not have a physical body. He is a spirit who lives in heaven, a place that we cannot see. Yeah. So I do get it. Jehovah is a spirit, singular. He's one spirit. Yeah. But what would the Holy Spirit be? Is the Holy Spirit another spirit, separate to Jehovah's Spirit, or is Holy Spirit the same spirit as Jehovah's Spirit, or is Holy Spirit something else, like not a spirit or a part of a spirit, or what? Yeah, the, the Bible sort of uses um, the, the term to talk about sort of God's um, active force, um, his, his sort of power of doing things. Um, so um, in the Bible, it's used to explain sort of God's way he acts so i'll see if there's a a, a chapter on that uh, my 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 question is very specific is holy spirit the same spirit as jehovah's spirit or is holy spirit um, a separate spirit a different spirit a separate spirit a number two spirit um does holy spirit emanate from jehovah that would be a problem if the holy spirit is a separate spirit to jehovah's spirit yet he emanates yet Holy Spirit emanates from Jehovah, or is Holy Spirit not a spirit at all? Yeah, well, um, the sort of Bible talks about it being like an energising force, so... Uh, for... Whoops. Um, um, it talks about, in Genesis, God's Spirit. Um, that word is used, God's Holy Spirit. The context helps us to learn that it's God's power of of doing things or is his energy or active force um let me just read the book again because i'm only interested in spirit yeah. god is a spirit john 4 24 jehovah does not have a physical body he is a spirit who lives in heaven a place that we cannot see yeah. so i get it jehovah is a spirit yeah that's a singular my question is, is the Holy Spirit this very same spirit? Or is Holy Spirit another spirit, a separate spirit? Or is Holy Spirit not a spirit at all? Or is Holy Spirit a part of a spirit or part of Jehovah? Or what? Could you, could you address the fact that if Jehovah is spirit, is Holy Spirit spirit? I guess that's the first question. Yeah, I suppose it's a, a spiritual um, force. Sometimes it's been personalised. I think, which sometimes might confuse the issue. So with the, the Trinity doctrine, sometimes that makes uh, these separate things actual beings. You've probably uh, the, that, the, the, you? the, the Trinity does not teach Father, Son and Holy Spirit are separate. That's tritheism, not the Trinity. I, I'm not really interested in the Trinity. I'm, I'm interested in your book. Yeah. Is Holy Spirit a spirit? Yes or no? Well, it's a, a, a force that, that God uses, um, and I suppose we use spirit in different terms in English, don't we? So we might say somebody's spirited or in good spirits. 
So uh, it depends what you mean. I'm asking with... your, your, your book. Let me read it for the third time. Let, let's go through this slowly. It's, it's Lesson 7, page 29.1. Why are we unable to see God? God is a spirit, John 4.24. Jehovah does not have a physical body. He is a spirit who lives in heaven, a place that we cannot see. The book is saying that Jehovah is spirit, a spirit in the singular. The word spirit is not used there in the sense of bottles of alcohol yeah. or some other sense. It, it means an immaterial being. Now, my question is, is Holy Spirit spirit or is Holy Spirit not spirit? Um, I'd have to do a bit more reading on that because I know the um, the Greek. Obviously, it's all translated from the the Greek, isn't it? Um, and the Hebrew scriptures originally, and then the, the Greek part of the scriptures. So um, the context obviously yeah. helps us understand the words a lot um, as to the meaning of them. Um, but in in the context when that's used, it's never um, referring to a actual personal being um but the, the sort of force that jehovah uses um so um i, I can read you uh, there's an interesting um book we've got talking about insight of the scriptures I yes i've I've, I've gone i've gone i've gone i've gone through it i didn't find it helpful um yeah section on i mean spirit. i mean do you think the fact that the holy spirit is called holy spirit do you think that's the clue to the fact that maybe Holy Spirit is spirit? So what you're saying is, is there another person? No, I, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't said another person. I'm trying to determine if Holy Spirit is spirit. Now, Ross, Holy yeah. Spirit is called Holy Spirit. Do you think that's a clue that maybe by calling Holy Spirit Holy Spirit, because spirit is in the the title, the name? Do you think? Holy Spirit could be spirit. Um, yes, I suppose if if that's what you mean, yeah. Some translations used to call it the Holy Ghost, didn't they? Um, like the King James, I think, used that term, the Holy Ghost. Right. So, um, so what, what's your what's your um, point so to say i believe the holy spirit is spirit yes yeah we agree yeah yeah o okay my next question is is holy spirit the same spirit as jehovah remember i've read your book three times god is a spirit john four twenty four. Jehovah does not have a physical body. He is a spirit who lives in heaven, a place that we cannot see. So if Jehovah is a spirit, singular, is Holy Spirit the same spirit as Jehovah or is Holy Spirit a different, a separate spirit to Jehovah? Um, well, as, as I said, sort of when we read the context of, of the verses, um, there's one interesting one in Luke, which is quite helpful. Yeah. Luke okay. 1.35. And that helps us understand what that is. It says that when Gabriel was speaking in answer, the angel said to a Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. That's quite helpful in understanding what that spirit is, because it explains it's the power of the Most High. Um, and it goes on to say, for that reason, the one who is born will be called Holy God's Son. Right. So that's how we start understanding what this um, spirit is. Well, I certainly believe that Luke one thirty five teaches that the Holy Spirit um, is referred to here as the power of God. So I, I have no problem with that. My, my question is, is Holy Spirit the same spirit as Jehovah or are they two different separate spirits? You are saying now the Holy Spirit is a spirit. So I want to know if Holy Spirit is the same spirit as Jehovah or are they different separate spirits? Thank you. Um, well, as, as we've mentioned, it's the power of, of God. It's how he gets things done. It's a spiritual I, realm. I it? understand. So, I understand and I agree. But my question is, is Holy Spirit the same spirit as Jehovah? You have said now the Holy Spirit is, is, is spirit. 
So is Holy Spirit Ross the same spirit as Jehovah or are they two separate spirits? Um, I don't quite understand that question. I think it might be splitting hairs a little bit. Um, Let me read your book for a fourth time. A fifth time. Why are we unable to see God? Point one. God is a spirit, John 4, 24. Jehovah does not have a physical body. He is a spirit who lives in heaven, a place that we cannot see. So Jehovah is a spirit. Agreed? Yeah. Is Holy Spirit... You said Holy Spirit is spirit, and I would agree with you. Is Holy Spirit the same spirit as Jehovah's spirit? It comes from Jehovah, yes. It's his, his active force. It's his, it's his spirit. It's talked about as being his power, isn't it? It's holy because it comes from him. It's his spirit or, or active force. So um, what, what we try and do anyway is we try yeah. and sort of help people... <laughs> You're not answering um, the question. Um, is 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 Holy Spirit Ross the same spirit as Jehovah's spirit? It, it's a very uh, it's a very simple question. I believe that yes, the Holy Spirit is the same spirit as yeah. Jehovah's spirit. Yeah. So so what, what what was the issue? I want to know if the Holy Spirit is the same spirit as Jehovah's spirit. Or whether they are two separate spirits. Please don't agree with me if you don't understand me. I'd rather you say you don't understand. You'll get back to me, because. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do some more more research on that. On okay. That word um, spirit. Um, yeah, that's fine. But you understand my uh, question. I, I'm not asking for a long lecture spirit. on active force. I want to know: Is Holy Spirit the same spirit as Jehovah's Spirit, or are they two separate spirits? Okay, can I ask why you are so interested in that? Yes, because I, I, I believe that they are the same one spirit. Yeah. I believe that uh, the persons are distinguished and are eternally distinguished. Yeah. So in other words, the who would be distinguished and eternally distinguished, but the what would be the same one spirit. I, I have found a reference in your Insight in the Scriptures book which says Holy Spirit is is spirit. Um, yeah. It's Insight Volume 2, page 1019, and it's a subheading that says God's active force, colon, Holy Spirit. By far the majority of occurrences of Ruach and Numa relate to God's spirit, his active force, his Holy Spirit. So there the Holy Spirit is called active force, and is referred to as God's spirit. So your insight book says the Holy Spirit is spirit. Yes. Yeah. But it does not really clarify, is Holy Spirit the same spirit as the Father, Jehovah, or are they two separate spirits? OK, well, I'll wait for you to get back to me on that, Ross. So is this to do with sort of the idea that there's Jehovah, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit all sort of one and equal? Is this, is this what um, you're getting at? I am a Trinitarian, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's quite interesting, isn't it, that um, we have to look at the context instead of spending too much time on tiny little details, as such as the word of the Spirit. Um, we have to also look at the context of uh, the Bible. So when Jesus was on earth, he repeatedly spoke about the Father being greater than I am. And you're probably aware of the time he said he didn't speak out of his own initiative. Um, and he even prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane to his father to say, let this um, cup pass from me. So we get sort of an idea of the, the separateness of Jesus Christ and Jehovah God. Um, and also in with Jesus Christ is spoken of as being the firstborn of all creation. So it's quite interesting, whereas Almighty God is spoken of as having no beginning. Uh, Jesus Christ is spoken of as having a, a start point. Um, you would you would need to prove this to me. It's best to do yeah. one thing at a time. Um, yeah. Proto. Uh, do, do you know what the Greek word is at Colossians one fifteen? For firstborn. Mm. Um, no, I don't. I'd have to check that out. Um, 
my pronunciation is probably wrong because I'm not a Greek scholar or expert, I'm just an ordinary person, but it's prototokos. And it doesn't mean first created. The word for first created is protokiskos. And protokiskos, first created, is never used of Jesus Christ anywhere in the scriptures. Um, you've said several things. You started off with my father is greater than I in John 14, 28, and then you went on to other arguments. Um, I think it's best to do one thing at a time, don't you? Rather than deal with multiple points all at the same time. Yeah, I was just talking about, the, I mean, that's just off the top of my head, but just a general overview of um, Jesus, how he explained, because obviously he's the best one to explain to us, his father, isn't he? He's the best one. He was the great teacher. But when so we look at this, out. it's best to look at one verse at a time, not John fourteen twenty eight and Colossians one fifteen, and Jesus praying to the father all at the same time. Um it's best to look at those yeah, verses we, individually. Yeah, Don't... we can debate things for a long time, um, but we can look at the context as well, because the truth is uh, simple. Um, Jesus said we would know the truth and it would set us free. It wasn't going to be very complicated that we'd have to know well our translations of uh, Greek. Um, he wanted that to be simple to people. And um, so it was going to be easy for people to understand. Where did he say that? So, Where did he say that, Ross? Was? Um, I think, is it... Could you show me the verse where he says that? John 4, 24, is it? That says God is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. That's not what you said. You said that the Bible has to be easy to understand. And you said that Jesus said that. So could you show me where Jesus yeah, said that? Because um, I'd hate to think yeah. you're sort of just making stuff up. No, yes, no, I don't want to do that. Maybe it'd be better if you spoke to me with an with a are you an elder? Um yes. Maybe if you spoke to me with another elder, maybe that would be better the next time. Yeah, I mean we don't um we only speak to people who are interested in learning um what the Bible has to say. We don't really debate um, about things um, we try and use our time like wisely um, but yes in John 8 31 and 32 okay um, so, uh, I mean at the time the Jews were adding a lot of traditions to for the people and burdening them but um, Jesus often spoke to the poor didn't he and the lowly um, um, this... he spoke to everyone this, this isn't my question. I know he says you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. But you said Jesus said that the Bible is going to be easy for us to understand. Um, so I asked you, could you show me where Jesus said that? Please, yes, Ross. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm quite happy to discuss my... Well, I, I don't know. I don't think you want to discuss the trinity or what i what i believe you seem to think you seem to be saying to me you don't want to discuss that um no i don't want to um well then you shouldn't the raise verses like john 14 28 and colossians 1 15 really because it's it's unfair of you to sort of throw that at me and then say you don't want to hear what i've got to say in response well, how, had, uh, how would how would you life. feel how would how would you feel if a Mormon said to you that Joseph Smith is a prophet of God and every other religion on earth is of the devil, including the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Mormon church is the one true church, and by the way, Ross, shut up, I don't want to listen to anything you've got to say. You'd think that's kind of a bit cowardly, wouldn't you, if, if someone's going to say that their Mormon religion is the only true religion on earth, every other religion is of the devil, and then they told you to shut up and not to talk. Yeah, I, I, um, I sort of, it's, discussing the Bible is fine, um, but uh, I, I get the impression that you've gone around quite a few different people. <laughs> well, I haven't I mean, got any answers, discussion. you see, that's the trouble. I don't tend to get Where answers. Whereabouts do you live? Pardon? Whereabouts do you live? Um, I live in the West Country. Oh, okay. So... Um, yeah, you must have spoken to quite a few different people. I had similar scriptures, I suppose. You've but, probably got there. But very a sadly, list. no one's got answers to any questions. That's the sad thing.
Would you like me to address those scriptures that you've raised? John 14, 28, Colossians 1, 15. Would you want me to go through those? Do you want to? But one at a time, if you'd like to raise them, let's deal with them one yeah, at a time. I, I will, obviously, you're very well prepared. So I will, um, I will get back to you. I'll have a, a look, because like you said, it's no good me picking things out of the air, is it? I'll have a look at a couple of the, the scriptures and refresh myself. Um, and yeah, I'll try and find that scripture as well about Jesus wanting things to be easily understood. Because that's why he, he used a lot of um, illustrations, didn't he? Yes. Um, for people, even the farming community and yes. fishing community. Because um, we're sp Because we're speaking on Zoom, I can see you've got some sort of gadget in front of you. You're sort of... You're just fiddling with phone, yeah. oh, it's a phone, just right? I thought it was an iPad. Okay, it's a rather, rather uh, large just, phone. I've just got the Bible on it, so um, yeah, I've downloaded the Bible. So I was just trying to find the, the verse, but I'll, I'll have a look and um, I'll, I'll give you a text. To you, I, I've, I've always found it best to choose a topic and give notice as to what you're going to discuss, and you stick to that yeah. one topic. Okay. So I'll, you actually I'll prepare before the meeting. It's no good after the meeting saying I'll get back to you and send you all of these links and all of these books and you can be spending hundreds of hours reading all of these links and reading all of these books after we've had our discussion. It's best to do your preparation before you talk rather than afterwards. Yeah, sorry, I didn't know what we'd be talking about, so uh, yeah. I didn't have time to prepare okay. anything. Well, maybe yeah. the next time, if you want to choose a specific topic, we could talk yeah. about that. Okay. Okay. Well, thank well, you very much indeed. Nice. It's lovely speaking yeah, nice to you, Ross. Have a good evening. Bye. Same to you. Bye-bye.